what's up hello how you doing how you doing i just um want to give you a really really quick update and say i look crazy i know okay um check this out i need to get these i need to take these in because i'm scared okay so one time i fell asleep with them and then i woke up and they were like stepped on or something they were like all jacked up and i haven't been able to get them back to normal and i'm scared i'm gonna break them because then i have to buy new glasses and those are my favorite so but look anyways they're my favorite because they don't have a lot of like frame in the way so like it's like a very clear picture unless they're really dirty like right now okay so this is what i've done all day okay First of all, I've been sleeping in way too much, okay? I don't need to be sleeping in. It's almost my second day of online school. So cute. I just thought my white shirt was like awesome. So let's just like not even pretend. I was like, I need to do an update really fast. Okay, so anyways, um, what I've been working on all day is statistical. So I don't know if I ever told you guys a long time ago, I had this data set that I had to do, but I didn't like it because like, the way that I got this like data set, like the way that I gathered the information, it just wasn't cool, okay? And I didn't just wanna go by the Happy Planet Index, even though that was cool. I wanted to do the World Value Survey. Excuse me. It just specifically asks a question. Do you know what I'm saying? It just specifically asks it's a sample. I really shouldn't even try to say all this right now. But anyways, I should just try to tell you what I did. Okay, so just anyways, the point of the story is that each of these countries, I should just summarize it for you. I've already done a lot of work. But what I had to do today is that each of these countries, where are they at? Had like a thousand to two thousand different people from that country. It was a sample size from about 1,000 to 2,000 different people that answered this question, okay? So then they gave their response and they're supposed to be randomly picked or whatever and that's supposed to give you an idea. Okay, so each of these countries had that. So I had to get an average because I can't like be like doing thousands of, you know what I mean? Like I had to get an average for all of those because eventually that's what we would get. So um, yeah, so first I did, I was like trying to find out the sample size. And then I did like the medium, the the mode, the average for both of the questions. And then I was like, that's a lot of stuff. Like I'll be here forever. So then anyways, after I did all of that, I had to match it to my previous data set, which had GDP growth and GDP constant for 2012. You know what I mean? Because I wanted to show how it's growing and what it is at the moment. Because I don't, I don't know how to express what I'm trying to find out. So that's why we're doing a project about it. Because we're, we're experimenting, okay? So anyways, um, we're supposed to do like category stuff, like dummy variables and things like that. And that's kind of what I want. What I want to show with the GDP growth and the, and I might not even need that much. And the constant is that certain, for like a certain, um, amount of development uh you know up to a certain point of development so pretty much i want to say that develop developed nations like extra economic growth is not conducive to happiness you know what i'm saying but it is maybe to a transitioning country specifically um and maybe to a developing country but not necessarily a developing country more for a transition. I don't know, this is what I'm trying to say. So anyways, I finally found that information too. So then I had to go, you know, from somewhere else, this other stuff. And then from this, fill that in, country categories. So anyways, now tomorrow, I'm gonna try to do these dummy variables. I'm gonna go to sleep right now and do like this like Gretel video that talks about it just so I can kind of like get an idea because I have to run a linear regression. The worst case scenario, I can run like some really simple linear regression and I have to pick between the two questions, okay? Question number one, let me just tell you what the questions are. I'm trying to determine. Obviously, I want to go something really basic and say happiness, you know? Question number one, there were so many different other questions. So like, I really had to narrow it down. Like I had like maybe like 10 different things I was looking at and then I like narrowed it down and blah, blah, blah. I've been working on this all day. Taking all things together, would you say you are very happy, rather happy, not very happy, 
not at all happy. Okay, so um, there's that one. And then the other one that I liked is all things considered, how satisfied are you with your life as a whole these days? One means you're completely dissatisfied and 10 means you're completely, and I kind of found that one really interesting as well, but it might, I might not be able to measure them together. Like I can't probably take happiness and satisfaction, although I would like to say that this affects both of these things, but I might have to show them separately. So, you know what I mean? I have to decide. I think I want to stick to the happiness though, because like I'm a happiness enthusiast. It just goes with my whole thing. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. So it was really hard guys, because once I got that huge data set from this world value survey, okay. And then I had to realize that I didn't get some of these countries and then I could go to the European values survey and um but they didn't have anything for 2010 to 2012 they had a 2010 and so like that's just like too much of the my frame is moving too much so i just decided not to use those countries and i would have to like get another data set get permission for it translate the code into whatever file i needed to it was like that's just too much so that's just you know what I mean? Let's just time-wise, you know, this could just become something that I can keep doing and working on forever. This can be like my thing. This can be like what I work on. If I have to pick a project of something that I need to research, I can continue to improve this for like ever. This is my, this is formally and forever now my project. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have a great evening. Update tomorrow. Day number three. I let my daughter have a day off today because of the fact that I was so engrossed in this. But tomorrow she's doing real school and she did school yesterday. But she's she's gonna do homeschool and she's gonna learn things like cooking and cleaning. And tomorrow she's making me breakfast. Alright, see ya.